It's a bear. <laughs> below from You know how this works by now. Just ask in the comments. Somebody will catch you up. Okay, bye. Only weird people in grooms wear white suits. If you see a man in a white suit and he doesn't have a girl also in a white dress with him, then make sure you're careful. Oh, kitty you. Kiryu, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it, I'm so sorry! I used to carry on those little bottles of maple syrup in my purse when I lived in Texas. I'd have people send them to me so I can use them in a place to drive good syrup. Alex, are you sure you don't actually live in Canada? Looks at my thousands of dollars of medical debt. Positive. d, &D spells named for the wizard who developed them nearly always take the form of developer's name, adjective, noun. In example, Otto's irresistible dance. Therefore, Mike's Hard Lemonade is a wizard spell. In this essay, I will- You know, the funny thing about Tumblr is that the people who write the First of all, this is extremely insulting and dangerous because profanity-laden otherwise flawless essay save for being factually completely wrong. And it turns out to be a self-righteous 14-year-old girl who heard half a fact and ran with it. And then there's someone posting, Sometimes the toads must go to toad prison for their horrid goblin crimes. And it's a 34-year-old with a PhD in amphibian behavior studies. They are a doctor, so clearly they do have to go to toad jail. Oh my god, you guys. Link is a highly versatile adventurer who wears light armor and consistently plays an instrument and usually has access to magic items and occasionally some spells. Link is a bard. This makes him only one of the handful of bards with the ability to shut the fuck up. Holy shit. You know, people often say they hope their deceased pet dog is chasing squirrels in doggy heaven. What did all those squirrels do to deserve an afterlife of torment? Well, dog heaven is also squirrel hell. It's a very efficient system. I can't stop fucking laughing at the thought of squirrels sitting so much in the mortal plane that they have to be sent to squirrel hell to atone. I'm sorry, little fictional character become important to me. I didn't do it on purpose. My friend just sent me this and I felt that. Hey, moron self shipper. We all feel this. Since coffee is a drug, Starbucks is a pharmacy that also sells snacks. Now I just want to see all my baristas in Blake Doctor masks. Starbucks, can you make this happen for Halloween, please? Today I learned if you got shrunk down to the size of an ant, not only would everything look bigger to you, but the world would also appear almost a million times darker. Light would no longer appear straight, meaning that the world around you would be covered in a haze of blurriness and shadow. Wow. Well, hope that doesn't happen. I'm upset. Why is there maple milk and waffle cones, but not maple ice cream? Seriously, I need to talk to the CEOs of Flavors. There's hot dog ice cream, but not maple ice cream? Wait, what? Oh, there is definitely maple ice cream. Well, I have to go to New Hampshire now, don't I? Come on over, man. We got maple shit everywhere. It's great. It's like Canada, but Patriot. Canada, but... <laughs> Could you imagine a pie getting thrown in your face? Funniest shit I ever visualized. I know. Ah, 1920s humor. There are no rules in the world, just expectations that have punishments for not meeting them. Okay, I swear the fuck you guys, stop murdering everyone, we've been over this. Okay, well, Minecraft villages have two different types of churches now, so... I'm assuming the villagers had a Protestant reformation? Testificate Martha Luther put the 95 hmms on an oak door in the form of a lot of signs. Like a lot of signs. Many signs. Got signs coming out the wazoo over here. Today's gender of the day is sea captain. Listed on all me legal documents. I wish I had crab legs. Wait, correction, I wish I had crab legs to eat, not 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 to replace my legs with Tumblr. Seriously. Can't believe we have to do this now. We make eye contact. And I connect to the Wi-Fi in your brain. And I delete half of your memories and make you left-handed. But I am left-handed. And I already have a poor memory, so. Good luck finding anything worth deleting. WAIT A MINUTE! I just accidentally invented a new idiom, maybe? Licking a tree and hoping for maple syrup. AKA, a attempt at resolving or achieving something with less effort than is required for success, and a high probability of proving it merely futile and faintly unpleasant. I can support this as a turn of phrase. A girl in one of my classes sent out an email saying, you'll be having a furry classmate this semester, and my heart stopped. But she was talking about her service dog. Me. I like got this platoon stuck on my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. So you're not gonna believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a meaty slap sound upon impact. 
waking me up in the tender hours of night. I can hear this, and I don't like it. Vegans, just make peace with honey. No, just shut up. Do it. Vegans will pretend not to hear when natives tell them their agave products are unsustainable because they have whimsical feelings about, and I cannot stress this enough, the freedom of hive insects. I mean, honey's literally murder, but go off. Okay, prove it. They literally puked their guts out to make your honey. Oh, I'm sorry, fucking, what did you just say? I have not seen any evidence they are harmed or die in the process of production. They do regurgitate the nectar as part of the process to concentrate it into honey. It's an interesting process. But they do not suffer any injury during this process. If they did, the cost to produce honey, which is done naturally as a measure to survive over winter and through times of lower availability, would outweigh the benefits. If you kill several bees to produce enough honey to make one more bee, it makes no sense! Any animal that did that would die, even with human intervention. Do you have any sources that suggest otherwise? I'd be interested to hear of this relatively publicly available. Information was false or misunderstood. Well, okay. Bee farmers use what's called a honey maker. It's a crude device. It's similar to a meat grinder. They force the bees in and grind them up. What comes out is a paste. That paste is later filtered into what we know as honey. I'm so Oh my fucking god. What did this person just say out loud? This is- this is truly- this is the funniest thing I've ever read! Please show us pictures of your bee grinder! Okay, they might be falsely thinking about a honey extractor machine! But all these do is you place the beehive frames inside and a motor rotates it at a speed that removes the honey! Which is then tapped through a tap at the bottom! Do you- do you think they put bees in that and spin them around until they vomit? Oh shit, it's bee carnival. Bad and naughty bees get put into the bee centrifuge to extract their honey. Okay, but seriously, vegans are coming after beekeepers is one of my major teeth grinding annoyances. For many reasons. Because there's so many lies. And to go one step further because it's such a waste. You see, the strongest vegan argument is that they don't want to exploit animals or take from them without their consent. But bees consent! No! I'm not kidding! How? Beehives aren't kept on leashes. They're outside. The bees can travel miles every day. They follow their queen, who is also outside, not on a leash, and can travel miles every day. If she doesn't like the high for any reason, for example, it got too hot, too cold, too messy, too filled with sugary stuff, and they need more space. Then the queen leaves, and with her the hive. The queen stays in the hive because the hive is the best place to live, period. Done. End of. If the hive is staying with the beekeeper, it's because the keeper is doing their job correctly and keeping them happy because the bees can and do Leave bad beekeepers. Of all the animals we've domesticated as livestock, bees are the ones you can most easily argue are consenting participants in their keeping. Okay, but we are gonna just ignore the fact that this absolute personification of the term bra moment believes, or at least tried to convince people, that honey is the result of putting bees in a blender! Okay, back to dumb posts. Like, Tola sucks. Today someone at the rock gym came up to me and asked if I was the girl who fell off the bouldering wall face first into the mat and muttered, Oh fuck, I can't believe I've done this for a minute. This was not supposed to be my legacy. So I run frantically into Kroger to get ketchup before my McNuggets get cold. And as I stand at the self-checkout with only a jumbo bottle of Heinz tomato ketchup, everyone starts fucking laughing at me. Like, what the hell? Then I remember I'm wearing this shirt. I'm so fucking pissed off right now! You know, in hindsight, you should have checked what you were wearing. People who don't cook the cereal don't realize what they're missing out on. The heat of the flames really brings out the sweetness of the marshmallows. Okay, OP, I'm coming to your home to beat you in the face and ass. Where are the Neko curls? I need to pat their heads. We're still working on that. Then work faster, goddammit! Oh, and when that finally does happen, could I bring my cat girl girlfriend into this not pet friendly apartment? I think the real question is should you? I think outdoor cat girls are better. Oh.
My God, how many times do we have to have this discussion? There's no such thing as an outdoor cat girl! Outdoor cat girls are a danger to both themselves and the environment. They have significantly shorter lifespans and disturb the ecosystem. If your cat girl wants to go outside, you accompany her. Hold your hand, or better yet, let her ride piggyback. But do not let her go outside alone. My friend let her cat girl go outside on a company once, and she disturbed a magical girl battle, throwing off the balance of the universe. Please do not let your cat girl outside. Um, excuse me. Magical girls are an invasive species, and only free hunting by cat girls controls their population at all. All right, listen. Introducing an apex species like cat girls into an environment to take care of an invasive species never works because it always results in them ignoring what we intend for them to hunt in favor of easier, more accessible endemic species like a self-insert harem anime protagonist. Like God, we saw that enough when they tried introducing rival antagonists to take care of the invasive shoujo protagonist population in Australia and they just wound up going after a completely different species entirely, the side ponytail moms. An environment with no natural predators. Y'all really gotta do some research into the history of introducing invasive anime species into your environments and keep your cat girls indoors where they're safer and unable to cause environmental harm. What the fuck did I just read? All right, am I stroking? Okay, stay out of PM Seymour's videos or draw 25. <sighs> Sully pulls the entire deck of Uno cards into my chest. You're gonna need more cards. Oh man. Oh golly. Oh lord. Oh jeez. Oh man, I sure fucked up my Skyrim so badly. Oh god. Oh god. Luigi, this isn't we! I'm back from vacation. Let's do this. Show my friends how I eat bananas sometimes, and it was a unilateral thanks. I hate it. They hate it. And yet it is the most brilliant way I've ever seen a banana eaten in my life. Today I learn horses actually has up to 15 horse powers. These powers include horse levitation, horse pyrokinesis, and the scourge. Nobody is immune to the neck kiss. Well, that's how vampires get you. Yeah? And? Coward. White people baby naming culture peaked when Bella really named her kid Renemanemini. This is false information. Her name is Renegade. No, it's Remulod. Like, like, like the sauce. Spelling the admin. Next up, your word is Fergalicious. D -d -d definition Make them boys go loco. Do you reproduce by splitting? No. I cough up eggs like a Namekian. <laughs> My son! The term Arrow Ace is especially lovely because it also sounds like Arrow Ace. Are you an aromantic and asexual, or are you an incredibly skilled and deadly archer? Surprise! You're both! Literally nothing is funnier than living your life with a cat in a sweater vest. Constantly feels like he's about to offer to do my taxes. I was trying to finish this post while I sat in a bar stool next to mine beeping at me for attention. And when the attention didn't come quickly enough, he put his paws on my shoulder and slapped me in the face. Which is, again, infinitely funnier when your cat is wearing a sweater vest. It's like I'm being bullied by the world's smallest accountant. My grasp on my gender identity is currently equivalent to my grasp on what day of the week it is. Nebulous. Constantly shifting. Not quite completely discernible, but somehow overwhelmingly Tuesday. Today I learn even though newborn kittens are born blind, deaf, and helpless, they still hiss at potential threats. The bastard instinct. Why that well-dressed fellow in the corner? We call him the Gentleman Thief. Why, just last year he single-handedly stole more than 40 gentlemen. Not to be confused with the Gentleman Thief, who was very kind while stealing your man. D jolene You sigh and all your teeth click around like wind chimes. This is an act of malice! Ah, uh, I love the smell of bisexuality in the morning. Mom, I need to tell you something. I mix berry sorbet. <gasps> when someone compliments me. Ah yes, when someone compliments me, I too make a loud jarring noise. Hey, I like your shirt. Being a creative on Tumblr culture is going through all the 24 reblogs on your post with 357 notes just to get enough serotonin to get through your day by reading what the five gods sent people who left tags wrote. I mean, yeah. They have learned rather quickly that I provide breakfast on a regular schedule. Was five minutes late and got told for it. Yeah, Yo, tell your slippers they need to calm down. You know, like, some artists and stuff will draw tears as, like, really big droplets and stuff? I want that. I'm tired of crying these tiny, stupid tears. I want large tears that are, like, the size of my fingernails. 
That's the good stuff, Big t Goth girlfriend. Friendly reminder that Ed ate an entire slide because there was a pebble in his shoe. Well, what else are you supposed to do? From here on out, to avoid confusion, I'm going to end any joking statement I write on Tumblr.com with a large high-res photograph of a clown to indicate that it's written in jest. You, you're joking, right? Do you see a clown? Okay, current John Mulaney is great, but seeing pictures from his childhood is just so adorable. POV, your Princess Diana. For a split second, I thought this was the one star. Don't you ever compare John Mulaney to the once there again. I know some naughty words that really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well, then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> Tradition is just peer pressure from dead people. I want this on a bumper sticker! Pregnancy is a hoax. The baby sprouts out of the ground. I've seen it happen. People pretend to be pregnant for clout. It started with one woman named DVD, and people have been chasing the same high since. I'm sorry, I meant Eve. I got tiny little hands, but they're beautiful. Adrian Shine, the leader of the Loch Ness Project, looks exactly like how I imagined the leader of the Loch Ness Project looked like. What a masterpiece of a photo. He looks like he knows everything. Sitting here having to rub feet on a calf to get a nervous mom to lick it and bond with it, the human equivalent would be rubbing some good food on a baby so a mom loves it. The doctor hands me a newborn son and I decide I don't like him, actually. So he just hits him with a pie like clowns do. My favorite thing about the contrast between early Christianity and ancient Greek and Roman religion is that the difference in the ways they think and talk about their gods is really similar to the difference between how dog and cat owners talk about their pets. Early Christians are like, This is our god, he's omnipotent and omniscient, and he's better than all of the other gods. The Greeks are like, this is our party god Dionysus. He got into an argument with a bunch of frogs once and we love him. Fuck silverfish. If those are the little bug things that look like centipedes, then yeah, fuck them. Oh my fucking god. I hate them so much. Oh, in Minecraft, I thought you were talking about like real ones. Wait, what do you mean real ones? Where do you think the name came from? Oh, I don't know, Tumblr user Plump9000. I sort of thought they weren't real, like Endermen or Creepers! Implying Endermen aren't real. Really not liking what you're implying, but- People who hide their phone from you while using it probably don't have anything bad. They probably just don't want to be judged. I mean, I just want to look at my food, okay? No, I bet people don't understand that I'm joking 800% of the time. Honestly, I can't tell if you're joking. 800% isn't a thing, you know that, right? If I had five dollars, every time my anxiety brain acted up over nothing, I'd have a consistent income. Yeah. I have this weird theory that some people are drawn towards each other because their atoms were near each other when the universe was created. And over time, the same atoms keep coming back together. Did, did you just scientifically explain soulmates? Took a nap and had a dream that I got a hyper-realistic tattoo of a band-aid, just so that I could cover it with a real band-aid. When people would ask what happened, I'd say, it it It's kind of weird. Are you sure you want to see? And then I'd dramatically rip the band-aid off to reveal my tattoo of a band-aid. Classic astral plane me. Oh. Oh, don't tempt me like this. Finding out Bo Burnham is 6 foot 5 and not 5'11 has absolutely killed me today. The concept of some Goliath twink Pacing around the stage yelling absurdities and throwing glitter is tricking my fight or flight response. I'm sorry, he's what now? Me sitting at the table with a six foot lobster, a massive eel, a tree possessed by a dead child, a cactus that murders people, a ninja acorn, and a ghost with two floating arms. Ah, oh, yes, good old family dinner. I see you talking about Pokemon over there. Kids these days are such wimps. Back in my day, the sky was red and I was scared. Oh shit, it's red! You know who's gay? Paul, the real estate novelist who never had time for a wife, and Davy, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. <gasps> New headcanon. Everyone in that song is gay except the piano man who has no idea he's playing at a gay bar and the staff and regulars are having a betting pool on how long it'll take for him to finally figure it out! So far, John is ahead. Okay, but that makes the man what are you doing here line way funnier! The hot new character trend in gaming, an amorphous capsule with legs who may or may not be planning to screw over their companions. I don't go to either, but I love him. 
gentle reminder that the human eye is naturally drawn by noise and movement. So next time you walk into a crowd or a bit late into a lecture or something like that, they're not staring at you or judging. It's just an instinctive reaction that has nothing to do with you doing anything wrong. This really helps my anxiety, thank you. It's time to stop mourning the death of Tumblr. For I have made Tumblr 2! Ow! Oh, shit, it's Tumblr 2, baby! Tumblr 2 is a direct violation of copyright on Tumblr 1. Sincerely by David Carp. <laughs> David Carp has the signature of a seven-year-old writing their own name with a computer mouse and MS Paint that has the sensitivity too high up. How the fuck do people still fall for pyramid schemes? Just don't open the fucking sarcophagus and the mummy can't hypnotize you. Seriously, how hard is that to fuck up? Gen X told me you have to pick your battles. Gen Z, well I'm full of rage and I'm picking all of them! Adopt me. Clears negative energy in the rooms. Oh. My god. It's a quartz goodbye! Why did Healy's die? Why were we so afraid of progress? They got banned literally everywhere. Healy's didn't die. They were killed by the government. Make no mistake, not only am I party rocking, but I'm also in the house tonight. Are you shuffling? Every day. Clown names, and clown names that are evil. Ah, my mutuals versus my block list. How dare you be funnier than my post! Some fools be like, I play games to escape my responsibilities, then pick a tank or healer. In my greatest fantasies, I am able to help people. Oh. There's only one mountain. Whatever is the tallest part of this Earth planet. Everything else is just the base of the mountain. I disagree. Okay, but think about agreeing with me next time, worm. <laughs> Guys, Pucky's onto something here. A cunning vampire door-to-door -door salesperson who stands in the people's doorway and talks until they find a convenient moment to drop their pen. And the person picks it up and the vampire says, oh, thank you. And the person says, you're welcome. And the vampire smiles a big fancy grin and steps inside. And that's this vampire's modus operandi for decades. And then the language starts to change. And suddenly millennials have homes and the vampire thanks them and they say, oh, no problem. And the vampire's like, that was not the plan. Honestly, the most unbelievable part of this is millennials have hopes. The second most unbelievable thing is that the millennials just don't offer themselves up to die. One of our players accidentally mispronounced another character's name as Shakira. DM without missing a beat. Your hips have permanent disadvantage on all deception checks. Get it. Guys, guys, guys. Important announcement. Look at them. Look at them babies. Why do these people say chicken as a term for coward? Have you ever met a chicken? Because those things will fuck you up, man. I love it when my friends send me memes of fandoms I'm not in. Like, great meme, love them, very funny. But what the fuck are they talking about, though? Google Translate post says, I am glad my lord sent me a letter which I did not follow. Love them as a good letter. So funny, but what? This is better than my post. Norwegian cat chasing a fox. Look at those majestic idiots. I love that you can clearly tell from the expression who is chasing who. As a German kid, I used to wonder why our radio stations like to play the American National Anthem so much. Until a friend explained to me that Country Roads Take Me Home is not, in fact, your guys' national anthem. Whoops. Tony Hawk is like fucking Perry the Platypus, because if I saw him without a skateboard, I'd be like, oh man. Then the second he picks up a skateboard, I'd be like, Tony Hawk! My toddler almost never addresses me as mom or mommy. He only does when he's annoyed or angry. I know he can. He just doesn't. So this morning, he was following me around calling me a Dexpa over and over and over. Holding my face, mouth in front of my eyes, absolutely addressing me. Finally, he said, Azexpa, play Baby Shack. And I realized what was going on. My mom got a Fire TV cube for Christmas, calling me Alexa and demanding I play Baby Shark. So this is his first complete verbal request for something, and he called me Alexa. Why the fuck? This is a short horror story. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, and to be honest, it isn't that weird. It's a behavior that needs correcting, to be sure, but it isn't that strange that he learned to do that. The toddler has probably repeatedly witnessed the adult say, Alexa, thing, and noticed that request almost always gets honored. In his mind, he's connecting the phrase with a desired task being completed, so he's trying to imitate the adults around him in order to complete his desired task. He doesn't know any better because he's a toddler and doesn't recognize Alexa as being a name. He just assumes that's what you say when you want something, because that's what the adults around him have taught him. He's mimicking, and it's perfectly normal and an expected and healthy behavior. If you don't like it, then you should probably blame the startling amount of people that use things like Alexa. 
Like, literally, this is happening because of the adults and has nothing to do with the toddlers. What they're doing is completely normal child behavior. In his toddler mind, Alexa is a super effective version of please. My experience with digital art. Merge the layer, crunk! Wrong layer! Why do we even have that layer? You're gay, they shouted. Dude, you're gay! I ignored them. It wasn't until I got home that I realized my gay had escaped! Those kind men were trying to tell me he was running away! Ha <laughs> ha! Grammar jokes. Juliet gazed across her balcony and said, It's over, Romeo. I have the high ground. Welcome to Applebee's. Would you like apples or bees? Bees? Hey, pick of the bees! <laughs> I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies that the devil is a northerner or that Georgia is lower than hell. As a southerner, yes. Terrible character ideas. A monk based on a European Christian archetype. They have sworn a sacred oath to defeat the giant snail plaguing the countryside. A dragonborn desperately trying to convince the party that they're actually a cockra with a skin condition that made their feathers fall out. Your standard horny bard, but they play a washboard. A sentient hat! Piloting a mannequin! A dark elf who's afraid of the dark and terrified of spiders. A peasant farmer who joined the adventure because they're going through a midlife crisis and want to find themselves. A druid who got involved because they're the party's weed dealer. And a werewolf who doesn't believe in the moon. LP, change the titles to great! When will the clown settings happen again? That was fun. Look at the mirror and they can start today. Shit, I wasn't ready for a murder in this. What's the most cursed but cute fun fact you know, Pucky? Cats, the furry little critter everyone loves, actually poops. How, how's that cursed? What, you like poop? You little poop lover, gross. If you die because I poisoned you, how is that my fault? Like, I'm sorry you aren't immune to my poisons. I think that's genuinely something you need to work on. Fix yourself before blaming others. Do you get it? Writing prompt. On everyone's 18th birthday, they receive a letter from their future selves. Some receive long messages about their future lovers or messages about changes they would have made. Yours contains nothing but a small list of locations and the words, Never visit. Well, you'd think I know myself better than this, you say, typing the first set of coordinates into your GPS. It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong, goat! You mean unpaid internships? I agree. Go for the printer honor, it's worth more than gold. <gasps> Fantastic advice. Elephants react to humans the same way that humans react to puppies. They think we're cute. My life has no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute! Hey, psst. Hey, kids. You wanna buy some drugs? That's basically the first interaction between humans and a snake ever. Yo, check out this knowledge fruit. It'll totally be the best thing ever. Wants to lead you down to a path of righteousness? I'm gonna lead you down to the path that rocks! Ah, oh, yes. Irish, England, and Australian. The Holy Grave slash Trinity of... Wait, what are they saying? I'm sorry, do you have a fucking problem with the way we speak? Well, heads up. If you try to make a candle with food coloring, the food coloring's gonna sink to the bottom of the glass. And when the flame eventually reaches the bottom, all the food coloring will catch fire and become one giant tall flame that you cannot possibly blow out and the glass will start to crack. And then you throw your tea on it in a panic then the extremely hot food coloring will boil and sizzle horribly, then the glass will shatter. Please take my words on this. Wait, what did you do, OP? I missed it!